Everyone ready? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're going to be reporting on an incident that occurred this morning, uh, 124 hours, on the 1100 block of Pogley Road. Uh, the Harrisburg Police received a call for a shots fired. Officers responded there. When they got to the residence, they observed blood on the floor. They followed the blood to where they found a six-year-old uh, young child laying on the ground with uh, gunshot wounds. The mother was frantically trying to do something with the child. The officers immediately started doing some type of first aid, uh, trying to put uh, pressure on the wounds themselves. EMS showed up shortly thereafter. Uh, if it were not for those individuals, the child would actually be dead at this time. The child lost that, a lot of blood. Uh, EMS was able to transport the child to Hershey Medical. Hershey Medical was able to treat the child. The child is in critical but stable condition and is expected to recover from the injuries. Uh, through the investigation, we determined that her brother, who was 10 years old, had found a gun that was inside the residence. Uh, believing that the gun may be uh, a toy, he actually pointed at the sister and fired the gun, striking uh, the six-year-old child in the chest. She is very lucky to be alive at this time. Um, the gun is stolen out of Susquehanna Township. The gun was placed in the residence by Tremon, uh, Tremon, Troll, I'm sorry, Tremaine Antonio James. He is 24 years old. He is related to the family. Uh, at this time, we do not know where he is. Uh, there is a warrant for his arrest. Uh, he is a former convict not to be in possession of the firearm to begin with. Uh, he was released from state prison, I believe, in September, and already has come into possession of a firearm. Uh, this is a very unfortunate incident, but it could be much worse. Uh, we could have a dead child. Every, it is everyone's responsibility within the city regarding the crime. I've said over and over again, there's only 140 officers in the Harrisburg Police Department, but there's 50,000 people that live in the city. As a community, we can come together to stop these things. That is the only way this will stop, is when we come together work together and stop. Um, to my right, I have uh, District Attorney Ed Marsica, uh, who will be giving you some information on this case as well. Uh, thanks, Captain. Uh, our yes. office has been working with uh, the members of the Harrisburg Police Department since the early morning hours in this investigation. As Captain Oliveira uh, noted, uh, there is a warrant currently for Tremaine Antonio James. He has been charged uh, with being a former convict, a person not to possess a firearm, with theft by receiving stolen property, because as Captain Alvaro pointed out, that the gun was stolen. Uh, he's, those are both uh, felony charges. He's also charged with recklessly endangering another person and endangering, endangering the welfare of, of children. Uh, this is a tragic event, and you know, thanks to the, the response of the police, CMS, and the good folks that we have at Penn State Children's Hospital, uh, you know, we're, we're very hopeful uh, that, that this young child recovers. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still tragic that she was shot uh, by her brother. Uh, you, know, you have a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old at 1.30 in the morning, playing with a, a gun uh, where you know, nothing good is, is going to come of that, as, as you all know. Uh, it's yet another reminder of the problem with illegal firearms, you know, illegal guns, stolen guns, possessed by people that shouldn't have them, uh, either used by those individuals, as we saw two nights ago, you know, in the streets of Harrisburg, or like we saw earlier this morning, uh, where we saw children get a hold of this gun uh, and, and, and use it. So uh, I want to thank the Harrisburg Police for their, their quick work this morning, both 
medically and, and investigatively, you know, that, that led us uh, here. Uh, I think Gabe's going to release a photo to, to you here. Uh, I, you know, if, if anyone sees Mr. James, so we would ask that they call 911 and uh, notify the local police. And at this time, they both will be happy to answer any questions. Let's go right down the line. Um, so was anyone else aware of the gun being in the house besides this gentleman? That's under investigation at, the, at this point in time as to who knew whether a gun was there. Certainly Mr. James was aware the gun was there. And that gun was reported stolen, The gun had been reported stolen, okay. correct. When was it reported stolen? In 2014, I believe, yes. Okay. Um, the, where was the gun, where did the 10-year-old find the gun in the house? Within the house. So it wasn't in a secure. common area. It was not secure. Secured. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you said that the gun was stolen from Swatara Township. Susquehanna Township. Uh, Susquehanna. Was that stolen from? Uh, like, do you have any uh, information on how that was stolen? We're still looking into that a little more. It's our belief it was stolen from a, a parked vehicle at the time. What is Mr. James's criminal background? Uh, I can't comment on it other to say he was unable to possess a firearm based on his prior convictions. Were the charges from Dolphin County previously? So. Were there any other children in the house? Yes, there was another child in the house, nine, uh, years, old. nine years old, who was not present with the 10 year old and six year old at the time, was in another room. Um, any words of advice for people who may have guns in the home again? You yeah, don't have illegal guns. That, that's, that's as simple as it gets. Get rid of these damn guns. You know that these illegal guns uh, it, it's ridiculous that this could happen uh, you know that a, a 10 year old can shoot a six year old uh, you know it's why we're you know what we take gun crime very seriously in, in the city of Harrisburg uh, you know if someone violates any of our firearms laws or if they shoot somebody else we're very good at investigating it and we're very good at prosecuting it and we're gonna lock your rear end up for as long as we can. Any advice for legal gun owners? If they may have kids in the house? Legal gun owners are usually them. a problem. Right. Okay. And, you know, that's, there's a lot of talk about that, but legal gun owners are rarely a problem. Mm -hmm. What was, um, how was the 10 year old? Um, well, the, the 10 year old was, the, you know, cooperated with the police, spoke, spoke with the police, uh, but obviously was uh, upset, uh, you know, at, at what it, very upset at, at what it, and you said that um, Mr. James knew the family? Yes. What is your advice to these families um, that, to prevent these type of situations? I think we have a um, politician here several years ago who made the statement to the parents to be parents, not to be the child's friend. Um, they are responsible for their children and their safety. If you know of anything that is dangerous to your children in your home, you have to secure it. You can't be concerned about your children after they're injured. You have to be concerned about them before they get injured. Um, are there, I know like well, there's a lot of drug take back programs and or anything out there. Is there anything currently right now that someone at home can do if they know that there's an illegal gun in their home? At any time, any citizen in the city or actually anyone can come to the Harrisburg Police Station and turn in a firearm. Um, can you, the, the individual's name uh, that you're looking for, can you spell his first name? Uh, all that information, including the photograph, will be on Crime Watch. You may have said this already, so I apologize if you did. Um, but any idea what his relation is to the family? Uh, at this point in time, we're not releasing that information. Okay. Is, he, he, is he related to the family, or he just has a relationship with the family? I just want to be. At, at this point in time, we're not releasing specifics regarding that. Was he living in the home? At this point in time, we're not releasing any information regarding that. Any charges pending against the mother? Uh, Mr. James is the only one currently looking at charges. Or the father? Was, did the father live there? Uh, we're not going to go into the family dynamics at this point in time. Uh, any further questions? So the mother. Yes, sir. The, uh, it's, uh, it's actually referring to the shooting on Tuesday night, uh, Barry Hill. Do you have any information on that uh, at this point in time? That's currently still on the investigation. Uh, we're 
we kind of keep things tight to the vest while we're investigating it. There's a lot of information that gets uh, released and some of that information, when it does get released, can interfere with the investigation. So once once we finish that investigation, we will, of course, release it. it um, Captain Oliveri, can you just talk about the, the problem with stolen guns, period? Um, you know, not just here in the city, I mean, just in general, uh, it appears that, you know, Dauphin County has experienced a lot of problems with people with stolen guns, how they're getting them. Um, could you elaborate? I can talk about Harrisburg City, and the first thing I can say is there is not a gun store in Harrisburg City. None. Zero. All the guns that are brought in are brought in by others into the city. Uh, we believe that other things do play a big factor. The drug trade does bring, bring a lot of guns into the city. But again, the individuals that are causing this are between the ages of 16 and 25. There's a chunk of that age frame where a parent is still responsible for that child. And as the politician had said previously, be the parent. Go into their room. If the child has something illegal, be it a gun, be it drugs, be it whatever it is, be the responsible adult. You don't know where those items will go to from there. Regarding Dolphin County? I look, it's very you know, stolen guns are a, a problem uh, that they continue to, to plague us because normally they you know, end up being used in criminal activity or in a case like this and you know, where they shouldn't be. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, Yesterday we had a drug bust in Lower Paxton Township with a variety of weapons that, that you know that, that, that were seized. So uh, you know that it's it's a problem not just here in the city; it's a problem throughout the country. Is children and youth involved in the investigation, and are the children still with their parents? We can't, can't, yeah, we can't comment on that at this point. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.